You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost in the head. Brock? Do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, you stodding bastard! Oh! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now, release! Still on poison! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell the eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take the joke, you old goat? <laughs> Frost is broken. Now that we reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nidavellir city. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat. If I can just get it free. Uh... Careful, lad. Ah! <laughs> Why are these things so fast? <laughs> off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin. 
and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have caught that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say... Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Did you see that over there? Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know, it is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. it looks like the path continues on the other side of that geyser. If only we were in Midgard, that water would be frozen in the second. <laughs> Looks to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brassard, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Brock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. That's dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. <gasps> Tyr was a friend to the giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The god of war often advocated for the giants. 
Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but... Maybe it's just different in Spartalfunk? I lot. Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Yeah! <laughs> 
They have those geysers. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Throws one of those guys. Here. Is there another one somewhere? of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Just, I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavolir. Too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good.
halfway there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. <laughs> Look, there's a chain we can pull up there. Cover that geyser from here. Something else we can hit? There's still the other chain to pull, but how are we gonna get to it? Maybe you could try hitting the rope holding the block. Try hitting the rope holding the block. Hmm? Can you see anything from that block? What about freezing the guys around the wheel? That's one of Cavassier's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Glad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. 
history. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellia, brothers. Hey! Dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body, and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Hey, could we talk we to you for- We don't want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Ah! Sindri! Hello! I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is a dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material. Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something. Ah. I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! Take aim at that gate there, but before you loose, say, Skialfa. Skialfa. Hey. 
the upper. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched the hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. At your service. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Nothing appeals to you? Another of Cavassia's poems. <laughs> Outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its roots in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. I think I see something. Could you maybe... No! Thank you! Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Leave!
We need some special equipment to use this. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there. And you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. <laughs> 